The trade deadline is swiftly approaching, which I believe it is November 5th or something like that. So I thought since, yeah, it's the bye week, we don't have a game this weekend. Let's go take a look at some potential trades the Minnesota Vikings could make. There wasn't many, uh, but one did cross my feed. It did cross my eyes and stuff like that. And I thought, oh, this would be interesting to kind of talk about. Probably not going to happen, but at the same time, it's nice to... You know, look at these rumors that could one day become true, even though uh, I don't see this one uh, taking place just because of the certain team and the certain player that we're going to be talking about here in just a little bit. Uh, probably uh, just it just won't happen. OK, but it would be uh, pretty sweet for our defense. Uh, it, that's a little hint here for later. But the Minnesota Vikings are rumored to potentially be in trade talks or not right. Not really in trade talks, but uh, could trade for defensive linemen. Nose tackle Dexter Lawrence from the New York Giants. I want to hear from you guys uh, from you guys in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts on this? Uh, do you think it's going to happen? We're going to talk about it in depth here just a little bit, see if it's possible that the Vikings make this trade happen or uh, if it's very unlikely, which uh, I think the article we're going to read from today is basically echoing the same sentiment that I have uh, said when I read this was, it's probably not going to happen just because of some certain things like our draft capital and what we're looking for uh, in the future, plus the Giants. Who knows what that team looks like in a year? Who knows what they look like at the end of the season? They might want to keep Dexter Lawrence on that defensive line alongside um, Kayvon Thibodeau and Brian Burns. So before we get talking about that, if you guys want to purchase this 23-inch backlit LED Minnesota Vikings 3d sign make sure to hit the link in the description down below uh very soon we should have a promo code not 100 what or when that's going to come but hey if you want to purchase one feel free to do so let's get talking about a potential trade proposal to the new york giants for dexter lawrence now the minnesota vikings are in an ent uh, interesting position as they enter their bye week they sit at five and zero and are one of the current front runners to make and win the Super Bowl this season. Obviously, it's because they're only undefeated. Uh, a potential run for a Super Bowl title came out of nowhere as the Vikings thought this run would maybe begin in 2025. I would say you could push that off a little bit because J.J. McCarthy obviously is not going to start this season. Uh, you know, having him start in 2025, there's a good chance he doesn't lead the Vikings to the Super Bowl. Crazier things have happened, but I just don't see that happening. But at the same time, we are Super Bowl favorites or to make a run or a favorite to make a run at the Super Bowl. Now, the interesting predicament the Vikings find themselves in this season is how to handle the trade deadline. They only have three draft picks in the 2025 NFL draft that are available to trade with a third round compensatory pick on the way this upcoming offseason. Now, would they be willing to make a very aggressive move to win now like the Rams did, you know, just a couple years ago with Matthew Stafford? Honestly, it's unlikely that they would do that. What could make sense is either a depth move or one that is similar to the TJ Hawkinson trade they made in general manager Kwesi Adolfo Mensa's first year. At the trade deadline, there's one name that is popular among the fan base, New York Giants defensive tackle Dexter Lawrence. So if this were to happen, what would be or what would this trade look like? What is a fair price for the Vikings to pay? With players at the top of their uh, respective positions going for multiple first-round picks, that would be the jumping-off point. However, it would be a major precedent for an interior defensive lineman to go for two first-round picks. Tyreek Hill went for less than that, okay? However, it would certainly be more than one. Now, this would be both a win-now move and one to set them up for a stretch, uh, stretch run under J.J. McCarthy for the next few years. Is that enough to trade away major assets? That's the million-dollar question. But nobody would fault Odolfo Mensa if he went for it. Uh, I certainly wouldn't, okay? I mean, Dex Lawrence makes your defense automatically better. Doesn't matter how good it is already. He's very good at run-stopping. He's very good uh, at getting to the quarterback. Add him to the mix of the Minnesota Vikings defense and what they've been already able to do this entire season. I mean... Boy, that'd be fun to watch. Now, one thing to keep in mind when it comes to trade compensation, as much as we think we know about the market, nobody really knows what a player uh, will go for. Surprises happen all the time, right? Randy Moss didn't go for a first-round pick. Shocker. I know. It is just... It, that's the NFL. It's the world we, uh, we live in. Now, a protected trade compensation would be something like this. Okay? A Vikings or the Vikings send a 2025 first-round pick and a 2026 first-round and fourth round picks to the Giants for Dexter Lawrence and a 2025 second round pick. Now, honestly, if I'm the Giants, I look at that and say, yeah, that ain't happening. Um, 
but I could see it if they took out that second round pick from the Giants, right? A first or two first rounds, uh, two first round picks, a fourth round pick for Dexter Lawrence. I think that'd be something uh, that would be a little bit more enticing because then you're not giving up draft draft capital. But honestly, if we're looking at this trade, as much as it is nice to look at and be like, that would be sweet. Like this could happen. Like imagine Dexter Lawrence on the Minnesota Vikings. If we're being realistic with ourselves, this is not happening. Uh, it's plain and simple. The Giants, yes, we 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 beat them pretty good week one. But since then, you know they've been they've had their ups and downs. They've looked a lot better than they did in week one. But it's probably because they were wearing those terrible terrible uniforms. Um, but. You never know what the Giants are going to do throughout the rest of the season. They could make a run. I mean, we're only in week six in the NFL year, so uh, thing, a lot of things can change from now to then to the, t- to the trade deadline, which is November 5th. Um, but I just don't see this as being a move the Vikings would make because, again, we would have to trade a lot of valuable um, – trade assets like we'd have to tra- trade away draft picks which we only have three this upcoming season that i think we can trade right so would we give away a player who would we give away uh to the giants for dex lawrence would we give away harrison phillips who's played exceptionally well this season and last season you know basically his entire tenure with the vikings who would we end up trading away to get Dexter Lawrence? That's the ultimate question. I don't see this happening. I see realistically a depth piece ad like at the running back position. Look, Aaron Jones has had an injury history throughout his entire career, at least the majority of his career with hamstrings and and basically just lower body injuries. And right now he's dealing with a little bit of a hip issue, which he's been listed as week to week. And I've seen a couple people comment that said, hey, we need to find better depth at running back. And I said, we necessarily don't need to find better depth. I think we just need to find, uh, or, or we don't need more depth pieces. We need to find the uh, like a stronger depth piece, right? Like a Leonard Fournette who's out in free agency, a Jarek McKinnon, bring him back to Minnesota. We've seen him with the Chiefs. He's very explosive because Ty Chandler, he's good. I'm not jumping off on the. T- I'm not jumping off the Ty Chandler train because it was against the Jets. He didn't look that great. The Jets have a great defense, but. Maybe we need somebody else other than Miles Gaskin behind Ty Chandler or maybe put somebody in front of Ty Chandler. I have no idea, but I could see that being a realistic move. I just don't see the Vikings making a massive trade before the trade deadline. So I want to hear from you guys. Uh, Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below about the possibility of the Vikings trading for New York Giants defensive tackle Dexter Lawrence. Also, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. It'd be much, much appreciated. Have a great rest of the night, folks, and Skull Vikes.